are now on our way to the house. The only thing I get done today, Layla Jane's room will be ready for her. How's it going? I, I heard there was some disaster. They dented it with glass. You dented my floor? Oh yeah, we found a wasp nest. It's actually in here in the guest room. Ew! Seriously, who does that? Who doesn't clean out the drawers before they move out? Hey guys, it is officially moving day. Our moving truck is at our brand new house, but I am here still at my sister's house with Maya, Colin, Layla Jane, and everyone, because Layla Jane woke up feeling kind of sick today. I'm getting kind of a slow start right now, but hopefully she'll be feeling better soon, or maybe my mom will watch her, and we'll start heading over there. Layla, you feeling okay in there? I mean, you seem to be doing better since you're wanting to swing around. How are you feeling? Do you feel okay? I do. Good, you feel a little better? I hope, maybe it's just allergies. We are now on our way to the house and my sister just pointed out <laughs> that I am always wearing this blue sweatshirt. I know, I need to get more clothes. It's just comfy. We are now on our way over to our new house to go help with the move. Brian has been over there with the workers for about an hour and a half now. So secretly, I'm hoping he's like almost already done. And we just come there and just help open the boxes. No, no more heavy lifting, but I don't know if we'll be that lucky. So we got Addie, Maya, and poor Layla Jane still not feeling well. So she's staying back home. Waving, like, oh, I'm sorry, Lucy. Here's Lucy driving. And Layla is staying back at their house with grandma right now because she's just still not feeling very well and didn't want to get out. So here we go. Look at that. Score, they're almost done. Looks like I got the dining room in. Oh, all these boxes to unbox. Yay. Not much in here. Let's go check upstairs. One thing I always do and I suggest to anyone moving out there with kids is first thing, get your kids' rooms put together so they have their comfort space, all of their toys, everything they're used to. So that is the first thing I'm gonna do. If it's the only thing I get done today, Layla Jane's room will be ready for her. I see you're already in here. This is Layla's <laughs> I was room. Up the kitchen. Oh, you're trying to do the kitchen? And you know what? I think I put some tape on there. Maybe we can take the tape off too. And we'll get that set up for her. So let's figure out where her bed's gonna be. I think, I think her maybe bed here? Be, yeah, this wall would be cute. On the wall? I think so too. Let's do it there. Karen brought us all over here to help <laughs> unpack. And what did you forget? I forgot scissors. <laughs> so we're having a little bit of a hard time opening boxes. But I found this. And, so this is a compass. I think you're gonna pit. open boxes with the compass and a pin. How did I forget this? <laughs> and we have, can you believe it? What is she expecting us to do with that? <laughs> and we have keys. Okay, we're gonna have to use keys, okay. I guess. Uh, what What are you doing? Are you unpacking still? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're building a garden. I think we've uh, lost a helper. I think we've lost a helper. Hey, the bed's looking good though. Thank you. Feeling so overwhelmed right now. Oh my goodness. She has so much stuff and I'm so used because at our old house, we had tons of built-in shelves. And I was able to put all of her toys in different cubes and put them in those shelves. We don't have that here. So now I have to find a place for all of this stuff. Ah. We did good. That was a lot of work. We did great. Were we a great team? Yes. <laughs> yeah, like over an hour we're on one bedroom. Honestly, it's been like two and a half hours just well, on this room. And it's room. honestly not even done done. I need to buy some more storage bins and kind of set things up a little differently because our room is not this big back in California. So I have some room to like space things out, but I think she's gonna be excited to come to it. And also notice that the bed's still on the floor. Did you guys see that? <laughs> That's because I still can't find the bed frame. 
that props it up. But once that does get propped up, I'll be able to shove stuff under the bed. Ooh. Yeah, I do that a lot. No shame, I stuff things under the bed all the time. Now, let's go downstairs. I heard some things crashing downstairs and that's where Lucy and Jason are. And I'm a little afraid to go down and see what's happening. How's it going? Oh, Brian just got here. I, I heard there was some disaster. They dented it with glass. You dented my floor? Somebody didn't pack the box as well. What? And when you picked it up, the bottom exploded. Are you blaming this on me? Well, I'm blaming on whoever packed the box. That was me. <laughs> I heard a big crash and I was like, I'm just gonna stay upstairs and not come down. Thanks for doing this. Look, look how much you guys have done. This is awesome. Well, we just piled stuff in. We haven't done much. That's all right. That's what I do with Layla's closet. <laughs> that looks good. Oh my gosh, this is so overwhelming. So Brian and I have to sleep in the guest room tonight because we have a sleep number bed and somebody from the company actually has to come out and put it back together and they can't come out until about a week from now. So Brian and I are gonna be sleeping on this bed and these are the only sheets I can find right now, but we need something. Excuse me, what are you saying? Come get your cook eyes. Maya, are you helping at all? What are you doing in there? I'm, I'm glad you're working so hard. I'm working hard on cookies. On cookies. I got the two most important things. I got Layla's room pretty much done. It kind of got a little messy again all of a sudden. <clears throat> and I got the bed ready for Brian and I to sleep in. Those are my two main goals for today. Now, I guess I can just start maybe unpacking closets. I know, oh yeah, we found a wasp nest. Should we show them? Yeah, let's go show it you guys. It's actually in here in the guest room. Pretty sure it's an empty wasp nest, but it's a wasp nest nonetheless. Right up there. Oh, gross. Now I'm moving on to the room I have been dreading, the kitchen. I feel like there's so many different options of where you can put certain things and I'm never fully satisfied. In all honesty, I probably rearranged the kitchen like two or three times before I'm absolutely happy with it. But right now I just wanna get all this stuff off the counter. It's driving me crazy. I've lost my helpers. They had to get home, but we're making progress and we're not gonna get everything done in one day. It's just impossible, especially when you have kids. And so I think we're just gonna work for a little bit longer and then go home or go back to Lucy's and Jason's and check on Layla Jane. This kitchen actually has so much space that I actually have a lot of empty cupboards. I have never had that issue before. That's pretty fun. But I think I'm gonna stop right now and maybe call it a day and go check on Layla. And then I know Brian, you're gonna stay right, yeah. and do more. I'm gonna keep this party alive all night long. Poor Brian. He's gotta get our internet going and get the TV maybe set up. At least one TV set up maybe. I have to, I want to. So yeah, we're gonna call it a day for now. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. And I'm gonna go home and take care of a sick baby. Back over at the house today and went to the grocery store to get a few staples since you know we couldn't travel with anything cold and quickly realized <laughs> one bad thing about this house is when you park down the driveway or down the garage, you have to walk up a flight of stairs with all your groceries. Obviously it's not that big a deal, but I wasn't quite prepared for that today. <laughs> Brian is on the phone with our internet and cable people and they're having a very difficult time getting us set up. So Brian's a little frustrated. I'm gonna let him deal with that while I go upstairs and see what room I should unpack next. Right before we left, I stuffed a bunch of my clothes into the dresser so that it would just all get moved at once. So I think maybe I'll start there and start hanging up all of this stuff and then move on to the master bath. If you notice, Layla is again not with me today because she's still sick. 
Bless her heart, she must have picked something up on the plane ride over here. And she's back at my sister's house with my sister and grandma. But she seems to be feeling a little bit better today, so that's good. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll have internet, we'll have cable, and she'll be healthy. And we can actually come, like, spend the night and start living here. <laughs> but it is nice that I'm able to just come here and start getting things super ready and just all unpacked before she even gets here. Time to start on the, the bathroom. And it's kind of nice, Brian and I have our own separate vanities. And I decided to take the one over here because it has more drawer space, which I need. And I was just kind of going through, figuring out what I'm gonna put in each drawer. And then, see. ew! Seriously, who does that? Who doesn't clean out the drawers before they move out? That is so disgusting. Disgusting. Now that means, ew, I have to clean it. Yuck, there's like dirty band-aids in there. Mostly got everything hidden there. Now I need to take some of our towels. This house did not come with a washer and dryer, so we had to order one, and it doesn't get here till a few more days. So we are doing laundry at my sister's house. So I need to go pack these away, because you know, after a move, after they've been in boxes, I just feel like they need to be freshened up. We still have a lot of stuff to clean up around here. Just things we need to figure out where we want them to go. Right now though, I feel like we got all the important things taken out of the boxes and put away. Now the next big thing we have to do is still get our internet, our cable, and go get furniture. Because we sold a lot of our furniture when we moved here. So as you can see, we have no sofa, nothing to sit on here. And over here in the kitchen, there is no table. But a lot of the other stuff is like a lot of decorations and pictures. And this is the stuff that's just gonna take time and just slowly putting it all away. But right now, if the floors are driving me crazy. I know they're going to get more dirty, but I have to vacuum and get these cleaned and then just keep plugging away at the boxes. 